Hey aphrodisiacs, it's me Khadija. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my winter twist out routine for 2020 and I also partnered up with Dossier. So make sure that you stay tuned for the giveaway at the end of the video. So first I'm going to take my Kinky Curly Not Today leave-in conditioner. I love this leave-in conditioner for the summer and the spring, but in the past I've had trouble incorporating it into my routine for like the fall and the winter. But with this twist out routine, it actually provides enough moisture with the cream I'm going to use. So this leave-in conditioner has organic mango fruit organic slippery elm, organic marshmallow root, organic lemongrass. The ingredients list is really short and it doesn't seem like it's that moisturizing but it does bring its moisture to the table. But what's really going to add a lot more moisture is this cream. So the cream that I'm pairing on top of the leave-in is the Oyen Handmade Whipped Pudding. First of all, this smells like chocolate so that makes me extremely happy and the consistency is very thick and creamy. Some of the ingredients in the whipped pudding are shea butter, aloe vera juice, juice, cocoa butter, castor oil, coconut oil, olive oil, and also there's honey at the end of the ingredients list. And lastly, to seal in the moisture, I'm taking some extra virgin olive oil as usual. This is like my favorite sealant that I always use. So I'm just putting a little bit of that and then I'm going to go ahead and two strand twist my hair all the way down. So now I'm just going to repeat the same exact process on the rest of my hair, spraying it with some water, applying the Kinky Curly Not Today, which has amazing, amazing slip. I love this stuff for the moisture and also the slip. Then I'm going to follow up with a bit of my Oyen Handmade Whipped Pudding and also the Extrusion Olive Oil to seal. After that, I'm going to go ahead and two strand twist my hair. So I'm just going to keep on repeating this process until I'm finished. And by the way, if you're new to my channel, I do have high porosity hair. So this LCO method works extremely well for me. Applying the leave-in first, then a thick heavy cream and sealing with an oil last. If you're trying to find out a routine that works for you for the winter, just experiment. Try the LCO method, try the LOC method. There's no right or wrong. Just find the one that locks in the moisture for the longest period of time. So now I'm going to put a little bit more leave-in conditioner on my edges and my nape because these areas get especially dry. And after that, these are what my twists are looking like. I have eight in total and I'm just going to let my hair air dry overnight and I'll come back to show you the results. So this is actually my day four hair. I wanted to show you guys how my hair held up because I think that's really important when we're talking about a winter twist out routine. You probably want to see how long my hair has stayed moisturized. So here I have my edges and my nape twisted from the previous night when I moisturized and sealed. I'm trying to grow these areas so it's really important that I keep them hydrated. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take some extra virgin olive oil and undo them. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my pineapple down and use my pick to fluff and also shape to get the volume that I want. And by the way, this is day four hair and I have not had to moisturize. I did moisturize the next day, but for four days, my hair stayed hydrated. So now I'm just going to take my hair tie, put my hair in a low pony. This is my go-to method to stretch my hair out so that I get the most elongation. And I'm leaving that in for 10 minutes. So 10 minutes later, I'm going to take this ponytail out. My hair has stretched and I'm going to go ahead and pick my hair once again just to get some more volume, especially at the roots. And these are going to be my final results, you guys. So this twist out routine has been a savior for my hair for these past couple of weeks. It leaves my hair moisturized, soft, defined. And I also feel like I have a bit of elongation using this combination of products. So now that I've achieved this bomb twist out that's smelling really good like chocolate, we have to spray some perfume as well. So I partnered up with Dossier to show you guys their affordable fragrances that are inspired by high-end perfume. So this is how the perfume comes packaged. It's really nice and simple. And you have this little info sheet that tells you your perfume, the inspiration, the concentration, how strong it is. And what's also great about Dossier is that they have a risk-free system, meaning that if you don't enjoy your perfume, you can send it back and you will get a full refund. 
So the perfume that I have here is Dossier's Floral Lavender, which is inspired by YSL's Libre. Now here is the price difference. You're getting the same size for so much cheaper with Dossier. So I wanted to give you all an opportunity to try out Dossier yourself because I think that these perfumes would just make great gifts for yourself, for friends or family. So here are the giveaway rules. Enter if you are interested. So this fragrance is interesting because it's a combination of fruity and also floral. So when it comes together, it gives this very unique scent, but it smells very, very nice. So that is it for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you're interested in Dossie, definitely check the description box and also into the giveaway. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.